Friday night, make your way down the twisting roads of Appalachia. And up ahead, the lights are on in thriving Paintsville, Kentucky. A high school senior, a mountain superstar, is on fire. Sean Grimm, just five foot seven inches tall, 170 pounds, but the will of a lion. Opponents call him the Grim Reaper. With college recruiters watching, he leads the state in touchdowns. Sean Grimm for the touchdown. He throws, he catches. He trampolines off the other players and keeps on running. Look at that again. But when we meet him, the golden pride of Appalachia is sleeping in a truck. These are all my clothes for school in my truck because I ain't got nowhere to go right now. I got my jersey, got some jogging pants. He tries to wake each morning in time to shower at a friend's house. My toothpaste and toothbrush are in my glove box. Sometimes he naps on an air mattress in the locker room doing homework wherever he can. Anonymous donors give him black socks he needs for the game. He tells us he wants a different life from his family up in the hills. Mother, stepfather, brother, sister, stepbrother, two young children, all in two trailers, carpeted with litter, dirty diapers on the ground. Sean says he moved out to escape the thievery, the alcohol, the undertow. The whole entire hall is nothing but family, and all of them hate each other, so it's all fighting. If they own a chicken or who thinks they're the god of the holler, it's all fighting about it. I want to go out here and I want to make everybody proud of me and I want to make everybody happy that I'm actually trying something and doing something with my life and I don't want to mess up. That's in the middle of nowhere, you know us, right? Yeah. Sean says he'll take me 30 minutes up the hill to meet his family. I'm going with you. Okay. Middle of nowhere, he says. <laughs> so I tell you. If everything is outside, they'll steal it. Up here? Yeah, there's thieves around here. It's the reason you don't leave your purse now. Is there a drinking problem in the house? Uh, we drink. I drink one beer to flush out my kidneys, and that's it. To flush out your kidneys? What does that mean? It cleans them, I guess. That's what, they, what I was told. I read it in the magazine. He says he works when he can at Burger King. He has a girlfriend from the right side of the tracks, though her parents... No, they hate me with a passion. Her daddy told me if he ever stepped foot on that porch of his, he'd bust my jaw. And just when you think you know this kid, listen to the song on his ringtone. Oh, no, you're kidding. I like that song. So this is home? Yep, middle of nowhere. Hi. Hello. I'm Diane. We walk into black, nice acrid smoke from burning rubber. Sean's stepfather, Rick, stepbrother, nicknamed Little Man, are burning tires to recycle the metal trim for money, $5 for 100 pounds. The family lives on welfare. Rick says he never learned to read. They just ain't nothing here. Nothing. Best money around here? Drugs. That's the only best money all around here. They heat the trailers with coal they dig illegally from embankments by the highways. Inside, Sean's mother. She has three children, eight grandchildren. She's 36 years old. She proudly shows me the scrapbooks of her exceptional son. I wanted him to have something to pass on down to his kids when he does have them. No one in this family has ever graduated high school, and Sean says he doesn't remember a book ever even in the house. The most valuable item under lock and key. In here, I keep all, all of our pain medicine. Prescription pills, Appalachian gold, prescribed by doctors for nerves or back pain. Somebody wants to steal this, it would be $120 worth. Tina tells us her lore set goes for $10 a pill on the street. Before a big game, when Sean looks for support, his stepfather is dead drunk. Ah. I'm best drinking than that. Why, Dave? I hold all my anger until Friday nights. I go out and I give it my all. I release it on the field. I thank you, Father, that you've given us courage. Say, I've got courage. I've got courage tonight. Yes. I'm a football player. I'm a football player. And I thank you for it. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 
As his senior year is ending, an opposing team smashes into Sean's knee, but in searing pain, he doesn't stop. He's forced to play both offense and defense, but still fights on to victory. And then, in his final game, even the will of a little lion got one to oh. He's gonna go. is not enough. After all those victories, the last game goes down in defeat. All these heroes come and go. No matter what, you don't quit. Never quit. His coach and mentor, Jim Matney, gives Sean a quote. You measure a man's greatness by how much it takes to discourage him. He's fought his way out of just a really difficult life. And what's next for Sean Grimm and the family up the hills about to deliver another blow?